So you've just updated Windows 10 and you want to get rid of all the crap and make this OS awesome. Well, you've come to the right video, so let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with a Windows 10 optimization guide. So we're going to make this Windows more snappier. We're also going to make it less invasive, which we know Microsoft have done this time around with Windows 10. They've put in some of those privacy settings, which make you feel a little uncomfortable. So we're going to get on with that first without further ado. And I'm going to be in the bottom right hand corner here guiding you guys through this whole process. Now, the first thing you will want to do when you get on the desktop is left click down the search the web and windows and type in privacy now when we do that it says privacy settings so we can less left click that and then we want to go through here and make sure all these settings are turned off in the first general tab here once we've done that we can then go to the next uh, tab and we can make sure locations turned off and also choose the apps that can use your location just make sure they're all switched off anyway uh, next is camera we can let apps use my camera I like to turn this off as well and then the next setting here, microphone, let apps use my microphone, make sure that's turned off going down here. You can also turn Cortana off here. As you can see, I've already turned it off, but if you or have it turned on, you can actually turn it off here with a little button there. I'd recommend taking that off as well. Uh, now the next thing is account info, let apps access my name. I like to turn that off going down. Again, you're gonna see it's generally the same thing. Everything here is pretty much set to off so after you've turned off all these features you can then uh, go down to feedback and diagnostics now you want to change this to never windows should ask for my feedback never i don't want it being invasive and then send your device data to microsoft i like to turn this to basic so i mean we're gonna have to send microsoft some information we wise will just make it as little as possible so when we put it to basic that's what that's doing. Uh, background apps. Now you want to go here and make sure all these are turned off as I've done here. And that way they're not sending data when you're doing things like playing games. So anyway, that's the first setting. Let's move on now to the next task. So after you've done that, the next thing you want to do is go down to the bottom left search bar here and then type in display settings. And then after we open that up, so we left click that, open that up. We then go down to notifications and actions. Now show me tips about Windows. I like to turn this off. I like to show app notifications. I like to leave that on in case something gets installed and you don't know about it. Uh, now all these others here, you can turn them off. Uh, show notifications when, yep, don't really care. I just like to leave show app notifications on. Uh, moving down to apps and features. Now this is quite an important tab because this is where we're going to be uninstalling a lot of crap here. So anything you, I'll just actually go through it with you guys. So store and mail and calendar for some reason can't be uh, uninstalled here. But there is a way to manually uninstall it, just I'm not going to do it because uh, everything I'm doing today can be reversed so if you run into problems you can reverse the whole thing and your computer should work before you did this guide though if you do manually remove these with special kits it's hard to get them back on and it could potentially uh, brick your windows or make it work um, less than perfect so what we're going here we found food and drink we'll just get rid of that so that's the first culprit today uh, so we're just running through and just uninstalling anything we don't need health and fitness yep see you later uh, going down to travel here, uh, get rid of that. So as you can see here, I'm just getting rid of all the apps that I don't need. So we're just going through money, get rid of it. News, get rid of that too. Sport, see you later. Alarms and clocks. Uh, solitaire, bye bye. Phone companion, see you later. Reading app, list app, see you later. And 3D builder get rid of that and of course get started so you guys can just feel free to uninstall the ones that I'm uninstalling personally though, I do like to leave calculator on and scan as I do take advantage of those ones and that's about it you can see that I've uninstalled the programs that I don't need now moving down here we'll just take a quick look at some of the features multitasking I like to leave all these on though in previous windows I did turn them off I like to leave snapping on because it actually works really well in Windows 10. Uh, tablet mode, I don't even bother as I don't have a tablet. 
uh, power and sleep. You can leave those settings. Uh, you don't have to really change those settings. I found they're fine. They're moving down here to offline maps. One thing you will want to do is turn it off the automatically update maps. So make sure that's turned off there. Uh, now for default apps, you will want to go to photo viewer here and change it to Windows Photo Viewer. So the default I think is Photos, but you want to change that to Windows Photo Viewer. So the next thing we're going to look at is some of the services in Windows 10 and which ones should we disable, uh, especially some of those ones that are in the background that could be invasive. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to click on this taskbar here and type in Services and then we're going to open that. It's a desktop app and what we can do here is we can actually disable the services that we don't need some of those invasive services so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the bottom because I guess it's easier to start from the bottom so Xbox properties we click right click there so we want to click on these Xbox services if you have an Xbox and you use Xbox live with your PC then you might not want to disable some of these features but if you are like me and you don't have an X bone around then you can just right click here click properties and then you can click on the startup type and you can click disabled so I like to disable some of these settings and I'm going to go through and disable the next Xbox. So all these three Xbox settings, you can just disable them. And you see here, disabled. And then we can move up now because there's another pro there's another important one that you should disable and I think it's called DMV. It's like a keylogger. It's essentially what people call the keylogger in Windows um, 10 so we want to right click on this and we want to go to properties and we want to go to disabled so it's there DM WAP push SCV so we want to disable that and we also want to disable diagnostics tracking service so right click that and then click disabled see you later apply now some of the other ones you may wish to uh, disable is Okay, so the next service you want to disable is Microsoft Windows SMS Router. Just right click that, click Disabled. Okay, and then after this, you want to go to these Hyper V settings and right click all these Hyper V's and just have them on Disabled uh, if you're just a desktop power user like me. So we're just going to disable all them. Hyper V, Disabled, and go through and just disable all these Hyper V settings unless of course you use them and again with any of these services if you use them you may wish to keep them on or even at best if you're not certain about a certain uh, service and you're like Brian I don't think you should be disabling that then the, what you can do is you can just turn it to manual uh, so that's about it there's another one called retail demo service as well you want to right click that and just disable that as well so some of these I'm not too happy leaving on my computer to be honest there's also some sensor services right click these disabled I'm not going to use them so there's sensor monitoring service sensor service and sensor data service these are three that I'm going to disable as well so I will put a description of all the services that I am disabling in the comment section below. Uh, also, the last one is fax. Since we're in a digital age, I'm not going to need this service regardless. So that's about it for services. Let's move on now to the next part of this guide. So for this part, we just go again to our trusty little search bar down here and type in system. And then we go to system control panel. Left click on that. Once we're in here, we can then go to advanced system settings. And then we can click on performance settings. And what you want to do here is you just want to copy my settings if you like it fast and snappy. Uh, in particular, slide open combo boxes. Uh, so if you do this, you'll notice if you hit your Windows key, it'll just come up really quickly. As opposed, and same with notifications. So things will just pop out. I really like it. It makes it feel more snappier. So you press OK there. You can then go down to Startup and Recovery, left click on Settings, and then we can go here, Time to uh, Display List of Operating Systems. Take that off. That's just a little tweak that I like to do. After you're done with that, you can then click on the System Protection tab, and what we're going to do here is we're going to turn off System Protection. Now, if you've updated your Windows to Windows 10, which you most likely have since you're watching this guide, your Windows 10 will now be activated from your Windows 7 or 8 key. And so this means that you can use a Windows 10 disk to legitimately install 
Windows 10 on your PC from here in. So for me, I like to just turn this off, free up some space. So I now click on configure and disable system protection, but also I like to click delete there, continue, and then apply it. There's lots of confirmations there, but that's gonna free up a little bit of space. And then after that, we wanna go over to the remote tab here. Just click advanced, take that off, click okay, take off allow remote assistant connections to this computer. And then we're virtually done there. So we've done a little bit of uh, twiddling around there, but one last tweak to free up some precious SSD space is to go down to our search bar here, type in command, right click on that and click run as administrator, left click there. And then we go OK. Now what we want to do here is we want to type in power cfg slash h off. And what this will do, this will turn off hibernation and it will free up some more space on your SSD. Now if you use hibernation, which is especially uh, a good thing for laptops, you may wish to keep this on. So just for me, I'm a desktop power user. That's an extra thing that I like to do. So let's move on to the final parts of this guide. So for this next part, we're just going to customize things and make your desktop look like mine, which is awesome. So what we're going to do here is right click on the taskbar and take off this show task view button because essentially it's just alt tab for lazy people. Uh, I like to I like to alt tab myself and then I like to right click on properties and then go to never combine. And what that'll do is it'll split all your different uh, applications or all your different tasks into individual bars. So I find this a lot easier to multitask. So that's what I like to do with the taskbar there. Then after we're done with that, we can then uh, left click on Microsoft Edge, which I actually do like. It's actually a decent browser so far, especially some of the settings you can turn off and on here. So once you're opened it up there, you can click on the right corner there, go to settings. And then once you're in here, you can go down to view advanced settings. And then what we're going to do here is turn off use Adobe Flash Player and then offer to save passwords and save form entry. So we're going to turn that all off and then we're going to choose Google as our uh, default uh, search engine. So that's another good thing there. So we're also going to turn off show suggestions as you type and let uh, sites save protected media licenses on my device. So after you're done with that, you can close it down, go back to the desktop, right click here and go down to personalize. So once you're on the desktop, right click there, left click on personalize. And when we're in here, we can go through background and you can choose a picture if you like. We want to get out of colors. And basically what you can do here is you can change the color of your taskbar. I like to use a dark gray and I like to show that color on the actual taskbar. So it's easier for me to um, just navigate when I'm uh, using the windows. So, And then on lock screen, one thing we're going to do is turn off get fun facts, uh, facts, tips and tricks on your lock screen. I like to turn that off. Uh, also uh, there I like to occasionally show suggestions at start in the start tab here and then you can um, show recent that but that's about it so just occasionally show suggestions and start we can turn that off so now for this last bit I want you to open whatever web browser you're using I'm using edge here so I want you to go up the top here and type in a website called ninite.com and now what this site does it'll give you all the applications you need in just one little package and it's really good I think my brother is using the internet because it's really slow at the moment. Uh, but here we go here. We click on Skype messaging since I need Skype. I need VLC. I need Winamp. I need Java. I need Silverlight. And then over here I need Reader DC and Qubit Torrent. And that's about it. That's all I need from this. So after I'm done with that, I just go get installer. And it pretty much just starts um, downloading an installer. Now for this last bit, you want to go on the bottom right corner here and go OneDrive, right click on that, click settings. And then over here we can go to, uh, I think it's performance, improve upload speed by uploading in files and batches. You can left click that off since you don't want to use Microsoft OneDrive anyway, if you're a power user. So uh, here in general, we can go start OneDrive automatically when I sign into Windows. We want to take uncheck that, make sure that's unchecked and click OK. Now, every time you start up your PC, OneDrive should not turn on. And if it does, you can just go to the task menu and take it and uh, actually take it off anyway. So now the last thing you can do here is go to your start menu and you can just start uninstalling things that weren't previously uninstalled or you can just unpin them from the start menu. So as you can see here, I'm just going through and unpinning anything I don't need. Uh, and then I can go 
and if there's things to be uninstalled as well I can uninstall them so as you see here everything that can be taken off the start menu is taken off the start menu so that's a good thing so we got here camera and maps and so this will just leave us with a pretty clean uh, start menu now so that's about it for today guys your windows should now be snappier it should also have a little bit more room freed up on your disk drives and also you should be sending less information to Microsoft which is always a good thing especially if you're a gamer and you don't like any clutter on your OS with that being said though the OS is looking really good some of the features built in are pretty handy so it is a good thing to upgrade to Windows 10 if you can uh, and that being said guys if you enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up it took me a little while to research all this and make it the way I like it but with that being said it's probably the best guide out there so if you appreciate videos like these and be sure to subscribe to Tech yes City as well and as always if you have any questions or comments then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can peace out for now bye